still driving the RV around with that noise. But I'm really confident that it's something uh, with the exhaust, so kind of regrouped and thought that that's everything's going to be okay, but can't do it today because I've got errands to run, I'm trying to meet up with Chris Travels, so I don't want to just go somewhere and get stuck in an auto shop for six days when he's going to be here. So instead, it's uh, it's actually time for Jackson's vaccinations. Actually, uh, yesterday, his annual boosters, his rabies, everything was due yesterday. So luckily, I found a place here, uh, Panama City Animal Hospital, is going to get him in so we can get his shots and boosters, rabies, everything up to date. Get that taken care of. It's a good thing to do today. I told Jax we're going to Mouse Land, though. I hate that sound. Another thing, uh, I put some, some time and effort into, into Tilly uh, late yesterday afternoon when I was in a bad mood. I fixed something that you guys may or may not notice. I'll show you. Let me just uh, turn the camera to my normal setting here all the way out the window like that. Just turn the camera like that. Oh, I hate that sound, but does anybody uh, see anything different? <laughs> I, uh, I sanded and repainted the, the, the top area there, on the very top there, where all those nasty lines were. It looks awesome, right? I love it. I think it looks a little better. I was like, why does it say closed? I have an appointment today. <laughs> they close from 12 to 1, so I'm like a half hour early. No big. Jax, are you excited? Where are we going? Come here. Jax, man, come here. Where are we going, huh? You can get some fresh air first before we go inside. All right, well, there was a, a miscommunication with the, the, the time of the appointment. Um, no biggie. Uh, I wrote down 1 o'clock right after I got off the phone, and they said that it's uh, 3 o'clock in their system. So, yeah. all right, just sit here for a couple more hours. Actually, I'm going to actually take a shower. So I'll just take a shower here in their parking lot, and I'll be back to it. I rounded up all of Jax's important information. All the stuff I needed at Disneyland when he was in the kennel. And his vaccination report that has all the dates. And actually, on his uh, rabies vaccination, it also lists the other stuff that he had done a year ago. So that's perfect. I'll go run all that in. And also need to get another three-month supply of his Activil stuff, the non-toxic flea treatment. And we'll see how healthy it is. Also forgot to mention, I made an appointment with an auto... Uh, exhaust company here in Panama City for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So that's how I'm dealing with Tilly the Tioga right now and um, they're gonna put it up take a look at it see if that's the problem but he even warned me on the phone which I kind of didn't like but he, he said uh, a lot of times once we start messing with those older engines uh, we, we end up breaking bolts and stuff, and then it causes more problem, takes more time, and costs more money. He told me that. And I was just asking him, because I wanted to get an estimate. He wouldn't even give me an estimate over the phone. He was like, 
pretty much almost guaranteeing that there's that's not going to be the only thing we end up having to fix and spend time on so doesn't matter i was prepared for this i told you this is probably going to be another week-long thing at, at this shop so i don't have a choice don't have a choice so and that what does that do about the whole van situation you know i'm not going to be able to uh buy anything with my paycheck if i end up having to put more and more money into it so it's this compromise and maybe tilly will just kind of force me to put the money into her instead and change my whole plans or maybe they put it up on the lift tomorrow and i say eh not worth it pull it back down and give it back to me so we'll see He's not happy. They've got three technicians out there working on him. Pretty much a normal checkup. He clocked in at 22.3 uh, pounds. That's up from 22.1 pounds exactly one year ago. So obviously the diet's not working and we're gonna try something different on that. They had, uh, I can't get Confortis or Activil here in Florida. So I'm, we're going back to the front line. It's some, our uh, front line, is that what we got? That's not my front line. Easy spot. Oh, it's a generic front line. So anyway, yeah. And then different kind of tapeworm, tapeworm medicine. This is not uh, an oral treatment. This is topical. That's kind of cool. And it also treats two other things. I can't remember, heart, heart, heartworm and something else, so it, it's like a triple thing. Got his new rabies certificate in his, in his, I don't know why they give you a, I'm not going to wear that. Cool, so yeah, we're good to go. Um, yeah, it's probably dinner time for Jax. Anyway, um, feeling really good today. I'm going to drive about five miles here. And I'm going to park really close to this repair shop. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to have him look at this problem that Motorhome's having. And we'll regroup. Things could be way different here in 24 hours. So, all right. Leaving this muffler shop here, the Mad Hatter Muffler and Auto Center. Had a technician come out and check out my noise. He spent a good 10 minutes out here. Brought out his stethoscope to listen in and pinpoint. And he said, it's a lifter. Not what I wanted to hear. All right, well, I'm flipping a Yui here. Got a hold of Wayne, a buddy out here that did the brake job. We're gonna 
talk, I guess. I don't really know what there is to talk about. We'll see. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.